Hey everybody, it's me, Cynthia, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I know it's been a while since my last um, video, but I've been pretty busy. Um, I'm in grad school. I may have mentioned that on one of my previous videos. I am pursuing my master's degree in mediation from Regent University School of Law. And for whatever reason, I decided not to request accommodation. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today is whether or not uh, you should request reasonable accommodation, whether it's work, school, um, I'm, I'm not sure if there are other uh, places where you can request reasonable accommodation, but I didn't for school and I will before the next semester begins. So I wanted to challenge myself and see how well I would do and I thank God that I don't have to work anywhere because if I did, I wouldn't be able to balance work and school. Uh, master's programs are, there's a lot of reading involved, a lot of writing papers, and while I was able to pull it off and do well, I think um, that before the next semester begins, I will request reasonable accommodations because what I've noticed is that there has been some decline in my cognitive function and ability. My thoughts don't come together as quickly as I would like them to. And I have struggled uh, in, in one of the classes with just putting the papers together because the thoughts don't come together as well. And so I want to encourage you that whether it's in your workplace or school, um, wherever there's an opportunity to request reasonable accommodation, I am going to encourage you to do that. I, when I was in the workforce, I did uh, request reasonable accommodation. I, I worked for the federal government. I was teleworking two days a week anyway, and when I got my diagnosis of MS, I, I struggled for a while dragging into work every day, and then I decided I was gonna request accommodation and I was able to work from home four days a week. I also um, I also decided that I needed a handicap placard. Do I always park in the handicap space? No. But where it does help me on those days when I'm feeling the fatigue but I've got to go out and get something or uh, I'm out and about and it's extremely hot and I don't want to have to park um, far from wherever the interest is to where I need to go, be it work, school, the store, or whatever. And I have to tell you that I had some friends and a family member that gave me kind of a hard time about um, requesting and getting a handicap placard because they um, said that I wasn't truly handicapped. And Multiple sclerosis is a documented disability. We didn't ask for this disease, but we may as well take advantage, if we can call it that, taking advantage of those extras that come along with having a documented disability. So if it is a handicap placard, if it is um, reasonable accommodation for work or school, whatever it is that you need so that you can continue to live your life the way you want to and be productive in all the things that you want to do, I'm going to encourage you to do that and not let people um, make you feel bad about requesting such accommodations. Uh, nobody nobody made me feel bad and, and, and helped me to decide not to request accommodations for school, but I will before the next semester begins the middle of January because, again, the, my, my cognitive functioning has slowed down a little bit. I can tell it's, it's altered a bit. My thoughts don't come together as quick as I would like them to. And it's okay. I manage it. You know, I did well. I ended up with an A and an A minus, and, and I'm happy with that. But I think I maybe could have gotten an A plus in each class if I would have had an additional time just to kind of get my papers together and submit it. You know, whether it's one day, two days, whatever, I'm going to just request and see if I can be accommodated. If I can, great. If not, it's okay. Um, just ask because all anybody can do is say no. 
So, uh, with that, I want to thank you again for stopping by. And until next time, I want to wish you happy holidays and uh, a prosperous new year. Cheers.